Hi guys, it's Sharon from Love Lady Lux. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a Halloween nail tutorial. I've got my glue, my cuticle pushes. We've got our very size of nails and they're all almond shapes. I'm going in and selecting the size that I am. And on occasion I will have two nails that are slightly different sizes. I will go with the smaller size just for comfort mostly. And I have been doing my own nails for a little while now. Uh, this is the first time I'm filming a nail video. So it's a bit rough so bear with me. But we have our orange and black Halloween theme. We've got some ombre going on and some hand drawn design. So this is our nail selection. And we're DIYing it today. So I've got my paint by numbers little paint pots. I'm getting some painter's tape. I'm rolling it up and making this little arrangement and sticking it to each of the little capsules. So I realized that it wasn't going to stick. So I had to fold it over it so I could get a little bit of height for the nail. So I'm just repeating that again. So you can see I'm flipping it over, tearing it off. I definitely recommend sticking it on the little capsule and then folding it over when I tried to do it the other way around folding it first and sticking it just didn't really work and I have ordered the proper nail stands so I just wanted to give this a go first see how I went see whether it was worthwhile me actually investing some money into this kind of little option for a video and I really enjoyed doing this so I'm definitely going to be making more videos like this but I've got those all finished we're going with Holo Taco by Simply Nailogical. This is Orange Drink and I'm just going through and evenly coating each of the nails. I'm not going in too heavy but I am definitely trying to make it fairly opaque uh, just so I don't have to go in with as many layers. So I'm just finishing off the first set and then going over the other side. You can see I've flipped that over and um, I really love this collection from Christine. I really want to get some more hollow taco, but I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer uh, to invest my money. Just painting the last nail here and I let these dry for about 40 minutes. And afterwards I came back and did a second coat again, leaving it for 40 minutes to dry. I'm going to flip either the thumb or the alternating ring fingernail and loading up a sponge so I can do an ombre. So I want either the thumb to have the black to orange and then the ring the reverse and then again the reverse on the opposite hand. And so you can see I'm just doing that last nail and getting the black from Holo Taco and touching up the end so I can ensure that the black is really black. And I just flip them so that the free edge will be available. And now I'm also doing a hack from Simply Nail Logical. I'm using uh, acrylic paint and a paintbrush and I'm starting to draw on my cat and I definitely learned a lot from filming these videos there's a lot I'm going to change next time so I'm sorry if you guys are getting seasick from watching this or oh, motion sickness rather um, I'm starting to draw on the ear of my cat and the other ear yes I did mean motion sickness because uh, we are not on a boat maybe somebody out there is and um, now I'm also painting on my blood drops, black blood over a orange background. And I really think that the acrylic is such a good option. It's really makes things a lot more controlled. It's not as thick, it doesn't set as quick, it's easier to remove. I think it's a really ideal hack um, and very useful. So. Now I'm starting to paint on my spider webs and I was not very impressed with these. I end up really not really liking the way I did the spider web. It's just too thick. I did invest in some nail brushes as well as those nail stands. So yeah, it, things are definitely going to be different in the next video. So I'm just doing it on my other spider web. I did this a lot fine. I actually preferred the, the wider spread one. I thought that I was going to like this more, but no, it was just too busy. There you can see a terribly drawn pumpkin while I'm uh, putting on my cat's eyes. You can also see a terribly drawn spider and I end up redoing these. And you'll see that in a second uh, if my big head would get out of the way. So we've got a spider head and body. You can see I sort of drawn around the cuticle area and starting to draw in the top of my pumpkin, which sort of end up looking like an apple. I It's definitely meant to be a pumpkin. Uh, I just sort of notice the roundness of it and I definitely did much better the second time around doing this uh, and this was very easily removed initially so that I could make space to redo this so this is definitely why you use 
and can use acrylic paint rather than nail polish because I would have had to remove everything and start over from drawing in my little spidey legs and I was just so happy with how both of these turned out even though I did a second pass of them these end up being my favorite nails that I did and I've been watching them very cautiously to ensure that I don't get damaged or nothing breaks or I don't lose any of them just because I put a lot of time and effort into these and I really want them to last me all the way up to Halloween and I really want to take more photographs of, of them as well so that's the other reason why I'll make sure they stay intact and just cleaning that up with the orange uh, sometimes it's just easier to go in with more nail polish to get in with those finer details and I just think it looks so cute with these little things and just cleaning up the spider as well uh, just really defining some of those legs and the tips of those and I did find that they stayed pretty well. I only had probably one come off the whole time, which was one of the ombre, because I was patting it up and down. So I'm using a gel topper. This is just some like Wish brand. Uh, I definitely am planning to invest more money into good quality products, but uh, this was a really glossy top coat, and this really just like made everything, mwah, chef's kiss, you know, really settle down and look really um, smooth and yeah really well manicured I, I really love this and you'll see in a second actually two didn't cure properly which kind of broke my heart a little bit um and I definitely did a topper after this but in the shot it just looks a bit manky so just be mindful you'll see me like peel off part of one of the thumbs in a second but obviously we've got to prepare our nails and this was terribly shot I, d I don't mind if you skip ahead because it's just horrendous to watch um I'm basically just filing the tips of the nails and trying to make them smooth and you can't really see what I'm doing I don't know why I sped this up um, this was just yeah not the most ideal editing I've got uh, dog fur and nail crumbs everywhere yep uh, pretty gross and now I'm just pushing back my cuticle with this little cuticle pusher and I'm doing a second round on the left side I think my left nails do grow a little bit quicker because the cuticle tends to be longer on that side on occasion uh, I don't know why but it is and just cleaning that up with alcohol to sort of prepare 99% alcohol uh, removing oils doing a gentle buff so I'm not putting pressure I'm exclusively just taking the shine off you can't really see what I'm doing because I sped it up so sorry not sorry I will actually try and do a little bit of with this next time so yeah follow me so you can uh, see me do that see how much I improve next time eh all right, so I'm gluing on the nails and I prefer to put the glue on the actual nail surface itself. That way I can ensure that it's covering the whole nail. I have a lot more control, can see what I'm doing. I don't have to worry about like the glue going anywhere because I'm not flipping around nail. And uh, I really was chuffed. So you can see me uh, yeah, realize that that didn't kill properly, peel it off. And then later on, I do another top coat. So putting on the right hand and I really ensured that the design went sort of black at the top, orange at the top, black at the top, orange at the top. Um, so it really alternated. I really did a lot of planning into the way I was going to do the nail design. Everything was very much well thought out. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that you can appreciate the look. We've got this final one going on. I think it's just such a really fun design. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post another new and improved nail video uh, much better than this. Here I am showing off the design on my right hand with Hollow Taco Orange Soda and then holding one coat black in my left hand to show off the design. So don't forget that you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. They are all love Lady Lux. So Lux fam, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was Sharon from Love Lady Lux and I will see you next time. Mwah.